All right, guys, we're in Texas. We're meeting up with House of Champs. But before that, let's see what the Walmarts look like. What do you guys think? We're about to head in, see if we can find something epic. Whew, guys, it is hot out here, first of all. Secondly, not much in there, but they did have something. You guys saw what we got. We got six packs. Wait, no, seven. Two Pokemon packs, which are 20 cents more than Yu-Gi-Oh! What is this? Okay, I guess we should be happy about that. That's disrespectful. That's all I gotta say. So we're gonna open these up right now, because why not? I mean, when else are we gonna open them? We might as well open them now. If I get a Starlight, I don't have a sleeve. Just saying. I'm just saying I don't have a sleeve, but that would be pretty crazy It'd be pretty crazy all right here we go car opening first time ever well first time in on YouTube I think I think this is the first car opening ever so here we go let's see if we can get something good here we go guys car opening paleozoic sorry night it's all backwards oh that's a super air, right it's all backwards so I can't read S Force Edge Razor okay I can read I'm pretty good I'm pretty good at this okay oh for one guys oh for one we do have Pokemon. We, we picked up one of the worst Pokemon sets. The ones where it, all I know is that you can't pull anything good because it's the, the pull rates are that bad. All right, Lightning Overdrive. Let's get another Seeker Rare. Let's get a Starlight Rare. Can we get the Black Rose? Can you guys imagine if we got the Black Rose in the car? Let's do it. Here we go. Wait, is that a... Wait, what is that? Amazing Time Ticket. I didn't pull this out of a whole case. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, we'll take that. Seeker Rare, Star Mine. All right, we got another, we got some more commons. I opened an entire case and didn't get one of these. So that's not bad. I think it's actually okay because the amazement, I think the amazement engine uses it. Yeah, there's me using the engine word. Where do I put it? I don't, I don't have a sleeve. All right, we're just going to set it down right there. Pokemon. Pokemans. Hit the dislike button for Pokemon. Here we go. But uh, yeah, all we had was one pack of Yu-Gi-Oh. So we got we to have some variety here, guys. If we pull like a um, full art rainbow card, we're gonna be happy. All right, let's 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 not look at this. Actually, I should probably give that away, shouldn't I? Wait, I don't wanna look at what it is though. All right, there it is. I don't wanna see if it's if it's a good pull or not. All right, the Salaz. We got a Bell Sprout. Okay, I gotta go this way. It's all backwards, I can't read these. Okay, wait, is it the same card? That's weird. Oh, we've got something. Corviknight V. We've got a Corviknight V, okay. Pokemon coming through. I think it's really hard to pull stuff out of that too, so that's that's pretty good. We'll take that. Alright, back to the back to the real card game. TCG Yu-Gi-Oh! Here we go. If you guys are enjoying the car video, let me know. Maybe we'll do another one. Audio probably sucks, but I'm sorry. Um, this is what we got when we're in Dallas. I don't live here. <laughs> I don't live here. Okay, guys. Can we get the Starlight Rare? Oh, Ultra. Amazement Attraction. Okay, this is the bad one. I think you want the other Amazement. But still, Ultra Rare. We will take that. Three pulls. Wow, this is like better luck than we usually have. All right, we've got three packs left, guys. Three packs left on this Walmart opening. Dallas Walmart. Fort Worth, whatever we are. Somewhere around there. It's like all the same. I can turn it all the same. I don't know exactly where I am. All right, here we go. Dogmatic something. We got the, uh, ooh, the I meet you. There we go. Reading these backwards is very tough. Here we go. Ooh, we got the Grand Admiral Thrawn. I remember that one. I remember Grand Admiral Thrawn because it's like a little angel. Let's go to the Pokemon pack. We'll finish with a Starlight Rare Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'm just calling it right now, Starlight Rare. Second Pokemon pack. We actually got something in the first one, which is pretty amazing. How do you open this? It says six plus. This is not made for six year olds. Six year olds cannot open this. Uh oh, I spoiled it. Let me open. Uh oh, I gotta open it like this. I already spoiled it for myself. So, all right. I know if it's green or if it's white, but I will not tell you. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Assuming some of you guys use those. Here we go. Mankey. I don't know what these Pokemon are. 
they're not from Gen 1, 2, or 3. All right. Oh, what is this? Minchow. Okay. Bruxish. Okay. Final pack of the car opening. Let's see what we can do here. Can we pull something epic? Who knows? Maybe I'll go to another one at some point and we'll add it into this video and you guys have like double car opening. Who knows? It might happen, might not. All right, here we go. Come on. Starlight. Let's do this. Let's do this. Scrap Raptor, a common favorite from this set. We've got a Sun Avalon something. An Ad Ignister. Okay. A super rare. A super rare serpent. War Rock. We got War Rocks. It's very hard to show stuff on here. Let's go over what we got, which is actually not bad. No sleeves, so go ahead and cringe. We got Amazement Attraction Cyclo something. We've got a Pokemon V. Very cool. And then we got a Secret Rare Time Ticket. Definitely not a bad pull right there. That's pretty good. So uh, pretty good pulls out of here, guys. I'm I'm not I'm not too upset. Out of what? How many packs? Eight, set seven packs, three pulls. That's pretty good. <sighs> No luck at the retail store, so we're gonna try Limitless Games. Hopefully they'll have something epic that we can Success. Blade Knight 10 from Limitless Games. They actually have some old school stuff, which is really cool. So we're gonna open this up. It's gonna be pretty epic. All right, guys, you saw that I just picked up this. There we go. Epic Blade Knight 10 from Limitless Games. We've never opened one of these. It's 2004 10. And inside you have, let's see, Magician's Force and Invasion of Chaos. Pretty insane. So we're going to open this right now. I know it's not the most ideal audio or lighting or anything like that, but it's still going to be pretty epic. Let's go ahead and open it. We're going to open it at this angle so you guys can see my face because um, I don't have a face cream with me. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this thing up. 2004 Blade Knight. I picked this one specifically. They had a few different ones because uh, one of my goat decks runs Blade Knight. So I was like, well, we can get ourselves a new promo, unless it's gradable, then we'll grade it. But here we go, took the wrapping off. Inside some pretty epic, epic packs for this one. Here we go. All right, let's see, we've got the promo. You guys know how the promo goes. I haven't actually opened much 2004, so I don't know how it's gonna be, but here we go. I also don't have any sleeves, so I have team bags, so they will go in the team bag. All right. I forgot to get sleeves while I was there. Okay, the centering, let's check this out. All right, you guys can check that out. Let me know how it looks on your end. <laughs> I'm not totally sure. Wow, that's super clean. Oh my goodness. All right, this one might be, this one's probably not gonna be used in a deck. This one's extremely clean. I'm gonna have to get the old team bag so we don't damage this thing. A massive sleeve <laughs> and put it in there. Okay, this thing looks incredible. That's a good start. I think that could get a PSA 10, to be honest. Like, that's insanely nice. Let's go through the packs we have. Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh packs found in Dallas. So first we have Ancient Sanctuary. So we've got the Unlimited. These are all Unlimited because they're from 10s, but Ancient Sanctuary, we could pull Dark Magic Attack, Blue Eyes, uh, stream, Burst Stream Destruction, not Blue Eyes. We've got the Invasion of Chaos, guys. You know what this means? Blackluster Soldier. It's gonna be epic. Ooh, a Dark Crisis. Okay, we've opened a ton of these on the channel. This is still cool. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this happened. Magician's Force. Can we pull the DMG? I don't know if you can even pull them from here, but I bet you can. And then Pharaonic Guardian. Got to be some epic cards. So we're going to open Magician's Force and Invasion of Chaos last, obviously, because they're the best. I say we start with um, Ancient Sanctuary. Let's start with that and see what we can get. All right, hope you guys are enjoying this unconventional, somewhat of a vlog video. It's, it's pretty fun to change it up a little bit. All right, original, let's see how we do this. Let's go like this. We've got the Nubian Guard. Let's see, the best lighting possible is what? Like this, probably? There we go. All right, Nubian Guard. We've got the Kozaki. I got a little bit of a finger shadow. There we go. Kozaki, still there a little bit, but that's just how it's going to be. Backflip? We've got the Three Hump Lakuda. Oh, ooh, is that the is that Mercury or Mar Mars? Okay, the Agent of Judgment. Wait, no, Agent of Force. Wait, what are these called? Agent of Force Mars. Very cool. Check that out, guys. Really nice. We got a super. So this is a good start. Watch. This will be the time I pull five supers because I have no no sleeves. We've got the Three Hump Lakuda. Oh wait, we already went through those. And we've got, uh, what else in here? 
I don't even know what that says. Everything's backwards the way I'm looking at it, so it's very it's very tough if I don't know it. There's the ninjutsu art, and this guy. Arcane Archer, I don't remember that. I'm sure I've seen it because I've opened three boxes of it, but pretty cool. Dark Crisis. What can we pull? Exodia Necros. Can we pull the Shinado? That'd be pretty crazy. Exodia Necros would be great as well. Something like that. Here we go. Focus in here. Dark Scorpion, Minade the Thorn. We've got an Arsenal Robber. Let's get a little closer. That might help. Yeah, Dark Scorpion Gorg. We've got Fairy of the Spring. Nice. And the Bow. We always pull the Bow. It's classic. Archfiend. Dark, deal with Dark Ruler. Bow Pawn. And Ojama Green. All right, okay. Not too great, but not bad. Not bad. All right. Three packs left in this tin, guys. By the way, I spent like, I think it was like $400 on this tin. It's pretty expensive, so hopefully we can pull something good. Uh, the Blade Knight, if that grades a 10, would actually do really well for like the value. I think we might actually get a lot of our value back, which would be really cool. And Blade Knight's just an iconic card, so it'd be really great. All right, Phronic Guardian, we've got, whoa, brightness, timidity. We've got the non-aggression area. It's very bright in here all of a sudden, well, for some reason. Ooh, calm down, there we go. Charmer of Shapti, Pyro Clock of Destiny, and a Spirit Reaper, that's pretty, wait, okay, that confused me. I thought... I thought this was first edition because it's backwards, um, but okay. All right, that was confusing for me. That was confusing for me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Kyriel and Buster Rancher. Poison Mummy, okay. I thought I got a first edition Spirit Reaper at first. That would have been crazy. Um, also, Spirit Reaper is a good one, so we'll take it. We have two packs left. Let's see if we can get this on here. Invasion of Chaos and Magician's Force. We're obviously doing Magician's Force last. Because you can at least get these in reprint. You can't get Magician's Force in reprint. So it's pretty cool to open those up. Two packs left, guys. Here we go. All right. Will we get the BLS right here? Can you imagine on this camera angle? It'd be hilarious. We've got the Neo Bug. We'll take that. It's cool. The Salvage. The Sylphide, all right, come on. Blackluster Soldier, guys. Like button for luck. <sighs> Destruction ring. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We didn't win it anyway, we didn't win it anyway. Smashing Ground's a good card. And Sacred Crane, all right, okay, nothing. Nothing in there, but maybe the Magician's Force will save us. Okay, final pack of the Vintage Tin that we got in Texas, Dallas area. Pretty cool. Pretty exciting to find vintage cards like in the wild these days. I know they're still they're expensive, but still cool. There's some great cards in here. DMG, we've got the Breaker of the Magical Warrior, just great stuff like that. So hopefully we can pull like Ultra or Secret. Be pretty awesome. Here we go. We got the Burning Beast. The Autonomous Action Unit. Here we go. The Kyria, I don't know what that says. Second Goblin, okay, second Goblin. Can we get something good? Whew. Let's go guys, here we go. Oh, <laughs> helping Robo for combat as the rare. Okay, so we did get one foil at least, which as you guys know, these tins are really tough, so getting one is not too bad. We also got a Minty promo, which is really nice. So let's go back to that. This was the main hit of the tin. That's an amazing looking card. I think it can grade a tin. We also have, of course, the Agent of Force, Mars. So very cool, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know the lighting and audio is not the best. Maybe I'll become a professional vlogger one day. Who knows, It'd be pretty cool. And that's it for this one, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! <laughs> <laughs>